Fox hunting is an activity involving the tracking, chase, and sometimes killing of a fox, traditionally a red fox, by trained foxhounds or other scent hounds, and a group of unarmed followers led by a master of foxhounds, who follow the hounds on foot or on horseback. Fox hunting originated in the 16th century in the form which was practiced legally until 2005 in Great Britain, but it also takes place all over the world, including in Australia, Canada, France, Ireland, Italy, and the United States. In Australia, the term also refers to the hunting of foxes with firearms, similar to spotlighting or deer hunting. In much of the world hunting in general is understood to relate to any game animals or weapons. In Britain and Ireland, hunting, without qualification implies fox hunting as described here. The sport is controversial, particularly in the UK, where its traditional form was banned in Scotland in 2002 and in England and Wales in November 2004, although certain modified forms of hunting foxes with hounds are still within the law, and shooting foxes as vermin also remains lawful. Proponents of fox hunting view it as an important part of rural culture and useful for reasons of conservation and pest control, while opponents argue that it is cruel and unnecessary. History the use of scent hounds to track prey dates back to Assyrian, Babylonian, and ancient Egyptian times, and was known as venery. Europe Many Greek and Roman-influenced countries have long traditions of hunting with hounds. Hunting with Agassir hounds was popular in Celtic Britain, even before the Romans arrived, introducing the Castorian and Fulpine hound breeds which they used to hunt. Norman hunting traditions were brought to Britain when William the Conqueror arrived, along with the Gascon and Talbot hounds. Foxes were referred to as beasts of the chase by medieval times, along with the Red Deer, Martins, and Roes. But the earliest known attempt to hunt a fox with hounds was in Norfolk, England, in 1534, where farmers began chasing foxes down with their dogs for the purpose of pest control. By the end of the 17th century, deer hunting was in decline. The Enclosure Acts brought fences to separate formerly open land into many smaller fields, deer forests were being cut down, and arable land was increasing. With the onset of the Industrial Revolution, people began to move out of the country and into towns and cities to find work. Roads, railway lines, and canals all split hunting countries, but at the same time they made hunting accessible to more people. Shotguns were improved during the 19th century and the shooting of game birds became more popular. Fox hunting developed further in the 18th century when Hugo Maynell developed breeds of hound and horse to address the new geography of rural England. In Germany, hunting with hounds was first banned on the initiative of Hermann Goring on July 3, 1934. In 1939, the ban was extended to cover Austria after Germany's annexation of the country. Bernd Ergert, the director of Germany's hunting museum in Munich, said of the ban, the aristocrats were understandably furious, but they could do nothing about the ban given the totalitarian nature of the regime. United States according to the Masters of Foxhounds Association of America, Englishman Robert Brooke was the first man to import hunting hounds to America bringing his pack of foxhounds to Maryland in 1650 along with his horses. Also around this time, numbers of European red foxes were introduced into the eastern seaboard of North America for hunting. The first organized hunt for the benefit of a group was started by Thomas VI Lord Fairfax in 1747. In the United States, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson both kept packs of foxhounds before and after the American Revolutionary War. Australia In Australia, the European red fox was introduced solely for the purpose of fox hunting in 1855. Native animal populations have been very badly affected, with the extinction of at least 10 species attributed to the spread of foxes. 
Fox hunting with hounds is mainly practiced in the east of Australia. In the state of Victoria there are 13 hunts, with more than 1,000 members between them. Fox hunting with hounds results in around 650 foxes being killed annually in Victoria, compared with over 90,000 shot over a similar period in response to a state government bounty. Current status United Kingdom The controversy around hunting led to the passing of the Hunting Act 2004 in November of that year, after a free vote in the House of Commons, which made hunting wild mammals with a dog unlawful in England and Wales from February 18, 2005. However, exemptions stated in Schedule 1 of the 2004 Act permit some previously unusual forms of hunting wild mammals with dogs to continue, such as hunting for the purpose of enabling a bird of prey to hunt the wild mammal, an amendment to the 2004 Act which would have allowed licensed traditional hunting under stricter conditions. Advocated by the then Prime Minister Tony Blair and some members of the government's independent inquiry on fox hunting, it was voted down. The passing of the Hunting Act was also notable in that it was implemented through the use of the Parliament Acts Chapter 1911 and 1949 after the House of Lords refused to pass their legislation. Despite the Commons passing it by a majority of 356 to 166, Scotland, which has its own parliament, restricted fox hunting in 2002, more than two years before the ban in England and Wales. Traditional fox hunting remains lawful in Northern Ireland. After the ban on fox hunting, hunts follow artificially laid trails, or use exemptions laid out in the Act. Although the League Against Cruel Sports has alleged that breaches of law may be taking place by some hunts, supporters of fox hunting claim that the number of foxes killed has increased since the Hunting Act came into force, both by the hunts and landowners, and that hunts have reported an increase in membership and that around 320,000 people turned up to meets on Boxing Day 2006. The Master of Foxhounds Association lists 179 active hunts as of February 2013. The Federation of Welsh Packs lists 56 member hunts, while the Central Committee of Fell Packs lists six member hunts. David Cameron stated on 3 March 2015 that he hopes to repeal the ban in the near future and a free vote in the House of Commons will be held on the issue in the 2015-2020 Parliament. United States in America, fox hunting is also called fox chasing, as it is the practice of many hunts not to actually kill the fox. Some hunts may go without catching a fox for several seasons, despite chasing two or more foxes in a single day's hunting. Foxes are not pursued once they have gone to ground. American fox hunters undertake stewardship of the land and endeavor to maintain fox populations and habitats as much as possible. In many areas of the eastern United States, the coyote, a natural predator of the red and gray fox, is becoming more prevalent and threatens fox populations in a hunt's given territory. In some areas, coyote are considered fair game when hunting with fox hounds, even if they are not the intended species being hunted. In 2013, the Masters of Fox Hounds Association of North America listed 163 registered packs in the U.S. and Canada. This number does not include the non-registered packs. Bailey's Hunting Directory lists 163 foxhound or draghound packs in the USA and 11 in Canada in some arid parts of the western United States, where foxes in general are more difficult to locate. Coyotes are hunted and, in some cases, bobcats. Other countries The other main countries in which organised fox hunting with hounds is practised are Ireland, Australia, France, Canada and Italy. There is one pack of foxhounds in Portugal, and one in India. Although there are 32 packs for the hunting of foxes in France, hunting tends to take place mainly on a small scale and on foot, with mounted hunts tending to hunt red or roe deer, or wild boar, animals.
Quarry Animals Red Fox The red fox is the normal prey animal of a fox hunt in the US and Europe. A small omnivorous predator, the fox lives in underground burrows called earths and is predominantly active around twilight. Adult foxes tend to range around an area of between 5 and 15 square kilometers in good terrain, although in poor terrain, their range can be as much as 20 square kilometers. The red fox can run at up to 48 kilometers per hour. The fox is also variously known as a tot, reynard, or charlie. American red foxes tend to be larger than European forms, but according to fox hunters' accounts, they have less cunning, vigor and endurance in the chase than European foxes. Coyote, gray fox, and other quarry other species than the red fox may be the quarry for hounds in some areas. The choice of quarry depends on the region and numbers available. The coyote is a significant quarry for many hunts in North America, particularly in the west and southwest where there are large open spaces. The coyote is an indigenous predator that did not range east of the Mississippi River until the latter half of the 20th century. The coyote is faster than a fox, running at 65 km per hour and also wider ranging, with a territory of up to 283 square kilometers. So a much larger hunt territory is required to chase it. However, coyotes tend to be less challenging intellectually, as they offer a straight line hunt instead of the convoluted fox line. Coyotes can be challenging opponents for the dogs in physical confrontations. Despite the size advantage of a large dog, coyotes have larger canine teeth and are generally more practiced in hostile encounters. The gray fox, a distant relative of the European red fox, is also hunted in North America. It is an adept climber of trees, making it harder to hunt with hounds. The scent of the gray fox is not as strong as that of the red, therefore more time is needed for the hounds to take the scent. Unlike the red fox which during the chase will run far ahead from the pack, the gray fox will speed towards heavy brush, thus making it more difficult to pursue. Also unlike the red fox, which occurs more prominently in the northern United States, the more southern gray fox is rarely hunted on horseback due to its densely covered habitat preferences. Hunts in the southern United States sometimes pursue the bobcat. In countries such as India, and in other areas formerly under British influence, such as Iraq, the golden jackal is often the quarry. During the British Raj, British sportsmen in India would hunt jackals on horseback with hounds as a substitute for the fox hunting of their native England. Unlike foxes, golden jackals were documented to be ferociously protective of their pack mates and could seriously injure hounds. Jackals were not hunted often in this manner, as they were slower than foxes and could scarcely outrun greyhounds after 200 yards. Animals of the hunt hounds and other dogs fox hunting is usually undertaken with a pack of scent hounds and, in most cases, these are specially bred fox hounds. These dogs are trained to pursue the fox based on its scent. The two main types of foxhound are the English foxhound and the American foxhound. It is possible to use a sighthound such as a greyhound or lurcher to pursue foxes, though this practice is not common in organized hunting. And these dogs are more often used for coursing animals such as hares. There is also one pack of beagles in Virginia that hunt fox. They are unique in that they are the only hunting beagle pack in the U.S. to be followed on horseback. English foxhounds are also used for hunting mink. Hunts may also use terriers to flush or kill foxes that are hiding underground, as they are small enough to pursue the fox through narrow earth passages. This is not practiced in the United States, as once the fox has gone to ground and is accounted for by the hounds, it is left alone. Horses The horses, called field hunters, or hunters, ridden by members of the field, are a prominent feature of many hunts, although others are conducted on foot. Horses on hunts can range from specially bred and trained field hunters to casual hunt attendees riding a wide variety of horse and pony types. Draft and thoroughbred crosses are commonly used as hunters, although purebred thoroughbreds and horses of many different breeds are also used. 
Some hunts with unique territories favor certain traits in field hunters, for example, when hunting coyote in the western U.S. A faster horse with more stamina is required to keep up, as coyotes are faster than foxes and inhabit larger territories. Hunters must be well-mannered, have the athletic ability to clear large obstacles such as wide ditches, tall fences, and rock walls, and have the stamina to keep up with the hounds. In English fox hunting, the horses are often a cross of half or a quarter Irish draft and the remainder English thoroughbred. Dependent on terrain, and to accommodate different levels of ability, hunts generally have alternative routes that do not involve jumping. The field may be divided into two groups, with one group, the first field, that takes a more direct but demanding route that involves jumps over obstacles while another group, the second field, takes longer but less challenging routes that utilize gates or other types of access on the flat. Birds of prey in the United Kingdom, since the introduction of the hunting ban. A number of hunts have employed falconers to bring birds of prey to the hunt, due to the exemption in the Hunting Act for falconry. Many experts, such as the Hawk Board, deny that any bird of prey can reasonably be used in the British countryside to kill a fox which has been flushed by a pack of hounds. Procedure The hunt is often the setting for many social rituals but the hunting itself begins when hounds are cast or put into rough or brushy areas called covers, where foxes often lay up during daylight hours. If the pack manages to pick up the scent of a fox, they will track it for as long as they are able. Scenting can be affected by temperature, humidity, and other factors. The hounds pursue the trail of the fox and the riders follow, by the most direct route possible. Since this may involve very athletic skill on the part of horse and rider alike, fox hunting is the origin of traditional equestrian sports including steeplechase and point-to-point -point racing. The hunt continues until either the fox evades the hounds, goes to ground or is overtaken and usually killed by the hounds. In the case of Scottish hill packs or the gun packs of Wales and upland areas of England, the fox is flushed to guns. Foxhound packs in the Cumbrian fells and other upland areas are followed by supporters on foot rather than on horseback. In the UK, where the fox goes to ground, terriers may be entered into the earth to locate the fox so that it can be dug down to and killed, and this is carried out as a form of pest control. Social rituals are important to hunts, although many have fallen into disuse. One of the most notable was the act of blooding. This is a very old ceremony in which the master or huntsman would smear the blood of the fox or coyote onto the cheeks or forehead of a newly initiated hunt follower, often a young child. Another practice of some hunts was to cut off the tail, the feet and the head as trophies, with the carcass then thrown to the hounds. Both of these practices were widely abandoned during the 19th century, although isolated cases may still have occurred to the modern day. Or to more cub hunting in the autumn of each year. Hunts take the young hounds out cub hunting or autumn hunting in order to cull weakly young foxes and teach the young fox hounds to restrict their hunting to foxes. The activity sometimes takes place in the UK and Ireland as the practice of holding up, which consists of hunt supporters surrounding a covert, with riders and foot followers to drive back foxes attempting to escape, and then drawing the covert with the puppies and some more experienced hounds, allowing them to find and catch foxes within the surrounded wood. A young hound is considered to be entered into the pack once he or she has successfully joined in a hunt in this fashion. Only rarely, in about 1 in 50 cases, fox hounds do not show suitable aptitude and must be removed from the pack. They may be drafted to other packs, including mink hound packs. In the U.S., some cubs are chased and allowed to escape to teach them better skills of evasion so that they may be tracked again another day. Many foxes learn to evade the hounds by running up or down streams, running along the tops of fences, and other tactics to throw the hounds off the scent. Main hunting season once the season proper starts. 
The idea is to drive the fox from the covert and pursue the scent that it leaves for long distances over open countryside. The Northern Hemisphere season continues through to March or April. Drag, trail and bloodhound hunting, drag hunting, an equestrian sport which involves dragging an object over the ground to lay a scent for the hounds to follow, can also be popular, either instead of, or in addition to, live quarry hunting. Drag hunts are often considered to be faster, with followers not having to wait while the hounds pick up a scent and often covering an area far larger than a traditional hunt, which may even necessitate a change of horses halfway through. A non-equestrian variation, hound trailing, is practiced in the Lake District. Since the UK hunting ban, hunts are using a mixture of an odoriferous substance within oil in order to improve the persistence of the scent trail, and then to lay the scent about 20 minutes in advance of the hunt. Bloodhounds are also used to hunt a human runner in the sport of hunting the clean boot.